Let's build a passive preamp. Connecting an iPod to a stereo or a mixer creates a small problem, or even going into the auxiliary jack of your car. An iPod has an output for the headset or the line out going to this suitable for going to some earbuds. Problem with this is the voltage to the plug is about 2.8 volts. Going to the auxiliary jack to your car or to a mixer or to a stereo system which says CD input, it's requiring 5 volts. It sounds weak, so generally what happens is you have to turn the volume of your iPod all the way up. You turn the volume of your stereo or mixer or CD uh, input jack to your car all the way up and you can hear it. It sounds adequate. However, when you go back to just listening to the iPod with the earbuds and you forget to bring the volume back down again, it blows you away. How do you fix that? Well, what we can do is build a passive audio preamp. And for this, for an audio jack for the car, we need a stereo uh, plug and we need two audio transformers. You can get these audio transformers at, uh, say, Radio Shack. Three bucks for the audio transformers, uh, a couple bucks for the stereo jack. I'll show you how the wiring diagram how to do this. Basically what this does is to take the 2.3 volt output of your iPod and boost it up from the transformer to the CD input to the car to about 5 some volts, between 5 and 6 volts. The nice thing about that is, is when this is in the line, you don't have to adjust your iPod up. You can leave it at half volume, go through the audio preamp to your CD input of your wherever you're playing it through, take it back out, put the iPod headset back in, no change of volume on the iPod. Not only that, but since it's pre-amplifying it or boosting the signal, it gives you a lot more uh, volume control to the car, CD uh, receiver, whatever. So let's show you the schematic and how to build one of these things. Basically, three bucks, three bucks, about six bucks. So we're looking at twelve to fifteen dollars for parts, and it's kind of cool. This is the circuit. Two Radio Shack transformers. Here's the part number: two seven three one three eight zero audio transformers. Remember, the plug is the tip, the ring, and the sleeve. Stereo in, stereo out. We're going to take the black center tap to the tip. The comparable blue out of the transformer goes to the tip to the out. We connect the green from the first transformer to the blue input of the second transformer. They're connected. It goes to the sleeve of the in. It also goes to the sleeve of the out. The center tap or black wire for the second transformer goes to the ring and the green goes to the ring of the out. Basically that's it, it's a passive trans, uh, preamp. So every volt that comes in you get two volts out. So in this case as we have 2.8 volts coming in we're going to get between 5 and 6 volts going out. It cuts the amps in half, the current, there's not really any amps here, there are milliamps. So while you double the voltage out you have the current going out, but in this case it really doesn't make much difference. There's plenty enough uh, current to, to drive the output. The other thing about this now, what you'll notice is this is a 1K to 8 ohm audio transformer. 1000 ohms input to an 8 ohm output. What we're not using is the red and white wires on the output side. We're just using the input side since it has a center tap on transformers 1 and 2. First step in this process, I got this transformer. I cut these little tangs off since I'm going to be making a... they're not going to be necessary. And I'm going to glue the transformers together because I'm going to put them in a shrink wrap package here in just a few minutes. I'll show you that uh, also.
let's test this. I'm going to put my headset on the uh, camera so you can hear the difference. First of all, I'm going to play the iPod straight through my mixer to the headset to the camera. And we'll listen to the volume there. Okay. Now then, let's plug in the preamp. And the short side goes to the CD player to the mixer. Woohoo! More volume. I like this. Hopefully you find this uh, somewhat uh, easy to do. If you got any questions, post me a, uh, a comment on, and I will get back with you. Uh, again, uh, six bucks for a cord, two, three dollar uh, ample uh, audio transformers. I put in shrink wrap there. I tied them together in one end so I have a strain relief so you just don't pull it right on through. Uh, you got any questions? Give me a holler. Thanks.